All right, guys, what is up? So this is the console we are working on today, and we have the microscope so you guys can see what I'm doing. And let me just show you guys this fucking amazing console. Like, this is what we're working on today. Like, oh, yeah, it's fucking sweet. So this is a, a V2 Corona, and it looks like some, I don't know what the hell uh, this is writing. Uh, I don't know who the hell did this, but somebody tried to RGH it. It looks like there's a little bit of, uh, like a solder right there in flux, as you can see, and it does not look good. So, uh, we're going to try to fix this today. I have it plugged into to, to the power right now. It doesn't turn on right now. Um, so that's all you hear when you try to turn it on. It just beeps. Alright, let's see if we get any voltage from the one side of the pad because I think this pad right here is uh, the only one causing it not to turn on because the other two I'm pretty sure are ground so they don't matter. See right here we have uh, 1.67 volts so this needs to be connected over here and goes to this pad right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run a jumper wire from right here to all the way over here to this point right there. So I'm going to take my exacto knife and I'm going to scrape this just a little bit to scratch the uh, the coating off. It's a lovely sound. So now we're gonna take some solder and well flux actually. Take some, we're gonna take some flux, put it right there. Oh shit! And then put some right there. And then I'm also just gonna put some all over this so that I can clean it all up, make it look nice. We're gonna take a little piece of wire that I have. Where'd my scissors go? Who took my damn scissors? I don't know where my scissors are, so. Now this is thicker wire than I would like to put on here, but I don't have any actual jumper wire, so we're just gonna use what, what I got. Plug it in and see if it got power now. Look at that, guys. Fan is spinning. Light is on. Um, so let's see if this shit actually like turns onto the TV. I have no idea if it does or not. 
plug this in, HDMI. But that doesn't seem to be booting, so it might have ECC written to it. So I'm going to show you guys a little trick. So see this little point right here? We're going to take our X-Acto knife. And if you guys know what the SMC glitch light is, this is what it is. So we're going to scratch the point on the board like this. Alright, now we're going to put some flux down just a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tend both of these points right here. Where's my, there's my solder. This. And now we're going to get a little LED light, which we need a 0603 LED. That is on there, we're going to clean it up with a Q-tip now. Alright, so now when we plug this in, we should get that light to flash. Okay. So now when we turn it on, See, that's pretty normal, so. What the hell is that shit? Let's flip it over. Oh, that's nice. You guys see that right there? That is just fucking great. <sighs> let's see if we have, um, let's see if this point is still connected. I don't, I wanna say it's not. If we poke it right here to this little trace. And then it's one of these somewhere. Let me see this shit. So at that point, and then yeah, so they're not connected. I just tested it on this other. This other console, so that I fucked that up even worse. So FT3. So this one. And then FT3 T10. Yeah, that should be beeping, but it's not. So we also got to do another trace repair. It's lovely. Gotta love these consoles that fucking they don't know how to do shit on. Let's see, this one, where is it? That one is also broken. Like, this dude broke every single fucking pad, but we can still use that one. I mean, if not, I can just put a PlayStation adapter on it and, and fucking be done with it. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another jumper wire. We're gonna solder to that point, because we can still solder to it. And we're gonna run it all the way over here 
to um, FT3 T10. FT310 right there. Alright. It's a good little jumper wire right there. So now we're gonna run this little this little wire. I'm gonna actually take some uh where did it go? I'm gonna take some hot glue actually and I'm gonna put it right here which should hold it down in the place. I'm going to get some flux. And I'm going to put it right there. And we're going to solder this little pad right here of what we have left, actually. Let me see if I can scratch that off a little bit more. That's better. So we're gonna take this now. And once again, I'm just using what I have. I need to order some jumper wire actually. It's on my list. All right. That is on there. I'm gonna try to clean this up the best I can without breaking it. Okay, so now Let's turn it on. See what happens. Because that might have been an issue why it wasn't uh, actually glitching or booting. Still hasn't booted up. So I'm gonna try and let's try to actually read the NAND. This should be interesting. All right. Let's get our little NAND reading wires out. All right, so for these last two wires, which would be ground, I'm not gonna solder directly to those little points. I'm gonna solder them both together. And I'm gonna solder both of those to just a regular ground point. So like, um, there's one. Right here on this little resistor, if we solder that right there, let's get a little bit of flux. Let me 
solder. And we're going to solder right to that ground point, all right? So now we just got to be really easy on those points because whoever did it before me fucked it up. And it's just, it's really easy to break. So we got to be really careful with it. All right, now I'm going to plug, I'm going to move my multimeter out of the way first. And then, uh, now I'm going to plug this into the computer, and actually I need, I need to bridge this point. So what we're going to do, plug that right there, and then this one right there is a ground point. These are just temporary wires, they don't have to look good, so they're gonna get removed anyway. So I got it plugged in, and then we're gonna plug this into the computer. And it actually pulls up and says, Do you want to format it? So that's that's fucking great, that's amazing. Because uh, if it didn't pull up, then we would be fucked. So, I'm going to open up JRunner, and I'm going to try to read the NAND. 4 gigabyte. Read. Now, ECC is probably created already. So, um, since, I, I'm hoping ECC is at least created. Because I don't think the original NAND dump is on there. If it, if it was, then... I think it would have booted already and you know it would have booted to the dash and it would have worked so I'm gonna read you can when somebody creates the ECC and writes it to the original to the to the console er, all the information is still saved on that ECC um, so I can just read the NAND and then I'm gonna create ECC again and write it and then once I get a CPU key I can just put that NAND dump in there and it'll work just like a normal NAND dump would so um, a lot of people don't know that, but it does. So we're going to write ECC to this. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put on a, uh, a chip, which I have a ACB4. Do I have an ACB4? Yeah, I do. This is our HV4 chip. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to put flux on these pads. And we're gonna tend all of the points. You can see most of them. Okay, and I gotta clip the wires and shit, which I need my scissors to do that, and I have no idea where they are. I found my scissors, so we can fucking continue. The 3v3 goes right here. This one goes short, short, long, long, short, 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 short. Yeah. Well, as the HP3 goes 
short, short, long, short, short, long. So that's an easy way to remember it. Slaughter that one. I still got to get used to this damn microscope because, like, the, the camera itself, it doesn't show the full, like, everything that I can see. It just shows, um, it shows what's in the middle. So I got to, like, put it in the middle every single time. All right, those balls are really clean, boy. All right. These two long ones go <clears throat> underneath the board. Put some more flux down. Then this is D. We're going to get E. And then we're going to get the 3v3. Okay, now... These get soldered right here. Alright, so... I just opened a new thing of Flux, so like... It's always like that at first, sadly. Okay, so C, C2 goes first. C2. Now we got C1. I'm pretty sure this is how it goes. Need more solder. Man, look at them balls. All right. So now we can just align these a little bit. Now I'm going to flip the board over. Let me just make sure that this isn't a... Um, let me just make sure it doesn't need a post-fix adapter. It does not. No, and this guy, whoever fucked with it before me, is like fucking retarded. So, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bend this little shit. And I'm going to solder it to that point right there. I need to trim it though. All right, I'm going to I'm going to just fucking put a post fix adapter on this little bitch. I'm not messing with that shit anymore. Make sure that little shit goes under there. Easy way to test is just to put your uh, multimeter in ohms mode and just test it. Okay. Now I'm gonna solder this one. Maybe I should solder it under the X clamp, just because it's already been through so much shit, so why not? I just wanna make sure that it is connected. So if we touch, I think it's this one, yeah. Because if that one connected, we might have been a little bit fucked. Just a little bit fucked. Wow. 
Fuck this. Shit, that looked good. Then I fucked it up. Okay, that is on there. Now I'll put the X clamp back on for the fucking third time. I'm gonna unsolder this wire. I'm gonna plug this little bitch in. Plug it in the Ethernet. And where's my ring light? There it is. Plug this in. And let's see if it boots. It is glitching. Guys, it booted. It fucking booted. Can you guys see that? See the rings, boy? Um, I can show you right here with this camera. It booted Zell. You guys were down at me. You were like, this, this fucking dumbass ain't gonna get this shit to work. Alright? See, I'm not, I'm not completely worthless, all right? So now we're gonna click create XD build image and then we're gonna put the UPD flash back in here. Plug this back in. Uh, and then we're gonna solder this wire back right here. And plug this uh, NAND reader back in. I can't even do that. Plug it into our computer. We're gonna write the NAND. It is writing. It is fucking writing right now. Unplug it. Desolder this wire. Almost just burnt my camera wire. Oops. Look at that glitch light, boy. Look at that shit. Look at that. It ain't gonna boot now with speed up. What kind of bullshit? This ASP4 is being a little bitch, so we are going to desolder this back. Hopefully, you can see it. If not, fuck you. We're gonna plug the board back in. So, I wrote the NANDs. We're gonna unplug all this. Desolder this wire again. Plug it in. And let's see if it boots. Alright, guys, it finally booted. It finally fucking booted. So guys, we have now a working Xbox 360 console. Peanut. Who the fuck is Peanut? Don't know who Peanut is, but I'm gonna clean this thing up real quick. And then I gotta go help my grandma and my grandpa with a uh, lawnmower. Damn tires always falling flat on that shit. So we're gonna unsolder all of this, cause we don't need it anymore. Desolder this from that lovely wire. Oh fuck. Unsolder those. We unsoldered that. Hopefully you could see that. Uh, now I need to fix this wire again because it's a bitch. That's fixed. Unbridge that. And yeah, now I just gotta clean up the board. All right, guys. Well, that is about it. And I'm gonna glue this wire down. And show you guys that it boots one more time and then we'll be done. It's not meant to leave. It's meant to stay there in that one spot forever. They make some kind of uh, stuff for that. What the fuck is it called? It's, I don't know what it's called, but they use it for like iPhone repairs and stuff. And um, and you gotta have like a little curing light. If anybody knows what that is, please leave a comment. That shit is drying, so I actually need to. Uh, fix up this side now. I'm gonna glue this little point down. So I glued that point down too right there. Just blurry so that's it. That's all I'm gonna do.
And so now I'm gonna turn it back on and show you guys that it boots one more time. And yeah. This HB4 is taking a little bit. There we go, guys. She boots. Let me show you that install. That install, though. That nice little glue spot. Yeah, she is working. Switch back to this HDMI. I can show you guys. There you go. The working RGH console. We turned it turned it to uh, some some good some money. We took shit and turned it into money. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'll see you guys later.